Good morning, Hong Kong, and welcome back to another episode of Hong Kong Insurance 101. This week, we're going to be continuing our technical examination of insurance theory and asking the question, what is subrogation? Subrogation is an important concept in relation to indemnity claims under insurance. Under the principle of subrogation, policyholders pass their rights at law to insurers following the indemnification of a loss. Subrogation is a direct and natural consequence of the principle of indemnity and upholds the core concept of indemnity, that a policyholder should not profit from a loss. Let's say a car is covered by comprehensive car insurance and is damaged due to the negligence of a property owner. As comprehensive cover is in place, the insurer will compensate the insured for the loss or damage to their vehicle via a claim. Once the policyholder has been indemnified, the insurer is then entitled to take over rights of recovery against the negligent property owner. Having received their claim settlement, the policyholder subrogates their rights against the negligent property owner to the insurance company. The right to recover damages from the third party which has been caused by the loss has been transferred via the mechanism of subrogation from the policyholder to the insurer. This ensures that a policyholder does not receive double compensation on a single loss and thereby preserves the spirit and intent of the principle of indemnity. However, there are a number of minute considerations that can influence the administration of your policy with respect to subrogation issues. For example, Hong Kong common law normally determines that the rights of subrogation are received by an insurance company following the payment of a claim. In some instances, however, non-marine insurers will specify in their policy contracts that they are entitled to subrogation rights prior to the indemnification of a claim. While this does not really impact you to a great extent, these details are still important factors and considerations when it comes to the technical operation of your policy. One such area of interest deals with the sharing of subrogation proceeds. It should be noted that this is an extremely broad and generic example of this policy principle and that any specific questions regarding the sharing of subrogation proceeds should be discussed at length with a Hong Kong insurance broker. Having said that, when an insurer has provided less than full indemnity following a claim, perhaps due to certain policy provisions like average, a deductible, or the overall maximum limit, the policyholder may be entitled to part or possibly all of the subrogated proceeds. A really simple and easy example for sharing of subrogation income can be seen with deductibles and excesses. Let's say a policy includes a deductible of 5,000 Hong Kong dollars. Following a loss, the insurer pays 20,000 Hong Kong dollars and recovers $10,000 from the responsible party. The insurer in this case is entitled to keep the entire $10,000. However, if the insurer recovers $25,000 from the at-fault party, then the policyholder is entitled to $5,000 with the insurer keeping the remaining $20,000. Subrogation, like contribution, is a complicated and technical area of insurance. For the most part, you will never have to worry about subrogation. You'll simply receive your claims after there has been a loss. That's us for this week. As always, we hope you have a happy and healthy weekend. Remember to like and subscribe to stay current with all our content as it comes out. And don't forget to ask CCW. We're simplifying your insurance.